Royal Space Force, the wings of Honyamais, Wank Li Yujo Jun Wanamisu no Yiritsu Achugan, Wanamisu no Subasa is a 1987 Japanese animated science fiction film that marked the cinematic feature debut of Gainax. It was written and directed by Hiroyuki Yamaga. The film was released on 14 March 1987 and grossed only modestly in the box office. Since then, it has received very positive reviews. A sequel was intended to be released set 50 years later, but due to lack of funds, Gainax abandoned it part way through production. Former president of Gainax Toshio Okada cited a fundamental dissatisfaction with the script and plot. However, it was announced in March 2013 that the sequel is in production once again. Topic: <laughs> Plot On an alternate Earth, an industrial civilization is flourishing amid an impending war between two bordering nations, the Kingdom of Honyamais and the Republic. Shiratsif Ladit is an unmotivated young man who has drifted into his nation's lackadaisical space program. After the death of a fellow astronaut, he nurtures a close acquaintance with a young religious woman named Rikwini Nondariko. Seeing Ladit as a prime example of what mankind is capable of, and understanding the godliness and groundbreaking nature of his work, she inspires him to become the first man in space. His training as an astronaut parallels his coming of age, and he and the rest of the members of the space project overcome technological difficulties, doubt, the machinations of their political masters, and a botched assassination attempt by the enemy nation. Amidst the debacle, Ladit becomes worn out by the overbearing publicity, prompting him to stay with Rikwini for a while. He then comes close to raping her one night while catching her undressing, causing a temporary rift between them that is later mended, thanks to Rikwini's kindness. These events culminate in the eventual space launch, which is taking place in a demilitarized zone, with the government's hope that the launch of the rocket will provoke the enemy nation into war. As planned, the Republic military launches an invasion, resulting in fighter planes dueling high above an armored advance towards a defensive trench network. Despite calls to pull out, Ladit, already in the space capsule and determined to finish what he started, convinces the frightened and vulnerable ground crew to complete the launch. The spectacular launch stuns both sides into inaction as Ladit goes into orbit. As his capsule orbits the Earth, Ladit prays for humanity's forgiveness. In a symbolic moment, Ladit's capsule is suddenly bathed in sunlight, and a montage of his own life and his world's history and achievements are shown. Meanwhile, on the planet's surface, Rikwini witnesses the first snow fall and gazes into the sky. Cast Production Honya Mize was based on a story by Hiroyuki Yamaga. A four-minute short The Royal Space Force was funded by Gainax and presented to Bandai Visual who were planning to enter the film-making industry. Bandai president Makoto Yamashina approved an 800 million yen budget for a full-length film, the record for an anime film at the time. The key staff traveled to the United States for aviation and spacecraft research, including the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. Production began on the film after their return in September 1985. All the characters were designed by Yoshiyuki Sadamoto. Hideaki Anno worked as special effects artist and as part of the animation design staff. Both Anno and Sadamoto would gain notoriety after working together in Neon Genesis Evangelion years later. Famous musician and actor Yuichi Sakamoto created most of the film score. Topic Release. The initial advertising campaign in 1987 was structured to make the film seem like Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Wings has been released in several versions in North America. The 2000 release by Manga Entertainment on DVD, which features commentary by Hiroyuki Yamaga and Takami Akai, was severely criticized for its poor quality. Bandai Visual released a Blu-ray HD DVD version during its 20th anniversary, the 11th of September 2007, drawing on the remastered 1997 DVD release in Japan. However, it lacks the commentary. It is now out of print. 
Made in Japan re-released the movie separately on Blu-ray and DVD on the 15th of October 2013. The film's initial release in the United Kingdom on VHS in 1995 by Manga Entertainment was cut to remove the attempted rape scene in order to receive a PG certificate from the BBFC. Anime Limited distributed and released the film on Blu-ray and DVD on the 23rd of March 2015 in the United Kingdom, past 15 uncut. Topic: Reception. Wings has received universal acclaim from film critics since its release in 1987. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun Times called it a visually sensational two-hour extravaganza. DVD Times said that the animation gives the storyteller complete control over what you see and ultimately how the viewer interprets the director's dream. The astounding animation, the attention to detail seen in every frame is quite daunting, but allows the viewer to discover new subtleties on repeated viewing." Helen McCarthy in 500 Essential Anime Movies called the film, "...marvelous," and added that nothing, "...can disguise the sheer quality of this film." She praised backgrounds and designs, noting that they, "...show a level of commitment that borders on fanatical." In a discussion of original versus adapted anime, Brian Hansen of Anime News Network goes on to say, It's set on a quasi-alternate reality version of Earth, but without reams of bogus sci-fi hokum, and the screen is littered with wonderful art direction of a world that's sort of familiar, but wonderfully alien. Just look at, for example, the guns the characters use, they're not laser pistols or handguns, but these strange little things that still look like guns, but cleverly modified to fit within the rest of this wonderful universe that Gainax created. And the story. Oh, man. It's not some spunky kid out to save the universe. It's not a band of merry adventurers battling an onslaught of demons. None of that. It's a tender story of a bored and broken man seeking redemption, pouring himself into a cause that he finds important that everyone else thinks is a laughable joke, and finding spiritual enlightenment in spite of his entire endeavor being twisted by corrupt politicians as an excuse to wage war. It's about one man coming to terms with himself. It's a story that's mature, resonant, and authentic. Every single thing in that movie is wholly idiosyncratic. It's wonderful. And not only is it unique, it is exceptionally well done. Every frame is teeming with detail. Former president of Gainax, Toshio Okada felt in retrospect that it needed a stronger screenplay, that it was too niche and like an art film to be really mainstream and successful. The film did not recoup its budget at the box office. Topic. Sequel In March 1992, Gainax had begun planning and production of an anime movie called Uru in Blue, Kang Ki Uru Aoki Uru, which was to be a sequel to Royal Space Force, The Wings of Honyamize set 50 years later so as to be easier to pitch to investors which, like the original film, would follow a group of fighter pilots. Production would eventually cease in July 1993. A full length anime movie was just beyond Gainax's financial ability, many of its core businesses were shutting down or producing minimal amounts of money. General Products had closed shop. We'd pulled out of Wonder Festival, a flea market for garage kits, and garage kit making altogether. We weren't taking on any subcontracting work for anime production. We did continue to make PC games, Akai had seen to that, but there wasn't a lot of work tossed our way. With mere pennies coming in, we were having a hard enough time just paying everyone's salaries. Finally the order came down for us to halt production on Aoki Uru. We were simply incapable of taking the project any further. With the failure of the project, Hideaki Anno, who had been slated from the beginning to direct Aoki Uru, was freed up. Legendarily, he would soon agree to a collaboration between King Records and Gainax while drinking with Toshimichi Otsuki, a representative at King, with King Records guaranteeing a time slot, Anno set about making the anime. Unsurprisingly, elements of Aoki Uru were incorporated into the nascent Neon Genesis Evangelion. One of the key themes in Aoki Uru had been not running away. Quote, in the story, the main character is faced with the daunting task of saving the heroine. He ran away from something in the past, so he decides that this time he will stand his ground. 
The same theme was carried over into Evangelion, but I think it was something more than just transposing one show's theme onto another. Gainax has periodically attempted to restart Aoki Uru, such as releasing a 1998 CD with storyboards, a script, and several hundred pieces of art, and a 2000 release of a mod to Microsoft Flight Simulator. At the 2013 Tokyo Anime Fair, Gainax announced that they are finally producing the Blue Uru film with Honya Mai's veterans Hiroyuki Yamaga as the director and screenwriter and Yoshiyuki Sadamoto as the character designer, but without Hideaki Anno's involvement in the project given his present work completing the rebuild of Evangelion for Studio Kara. In 2014, Gainax president Hiroyuki Yamaga announced at Anime Festival Asia in Singapore more details about Uru in Blue. Instead of the typical Japanese production committee, the sequel will be produced by Uru in Blue LLP, a limited liability partnership composed of various investors and partners. This LLP is based in Singapore, and they are currently seeking investors. The projected budget is $40 million, and Yasuhiro Takeda will be a producer. Hiroyuki Yamaga is writing and directing the project with designs by Yoshiyuki Sadamoto. Both had worked together in the same roles in the original 1987 Royal Space Force. A preview short for Uru in Blue called Overture was planned to be released worldwide in 2015. The project team members were also meeting production companies for potential collaboration in Japan, Taiwan, Singapore, South Korea, and the Middle East, aiming to release the final anime worldwide in 2018. In 2018, Gainax left the project, and Gainer took over production. Gainer has slated the film for a 2022 release. See also List of animated feature films